it's time for some spook. No, it's not actually Halloween yet. I mean, we're in October, so it might as well be. But it's time for some spook. We got some spooky boys out here. We got some new clothing, some new gear, some new aesthetics. But none of that matters to me because we also have four random weapons and salmon runs. So that's what we're going to be going with here today. How can you see? Actually, I guess you can see pretty well. We're going to go into salmon run today. Let's go, everybody. Well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Spielbooks YouTube. Welcome, everybody. I just said what we're going to be doing today. I'm not going to not gonna try and mix it up on you guys. We got Kosi. We got tech support Kosi here today to work on some salmon run shifts. Now, we got four mystery weapons, if I'm not mistaken. I, I actually forget the last time I've done this. Yeah, here we go. Mariner's Bay. Actually, I, at least it's, like, a good map, I think, hopefully. What team am I on? So... The new Splatfest was announced. It's a really cool Splatfest. Uh, sponsors can join in as as per usual. Um, the whole the whole Splatfest thing looks so nice. I'm so happy that they're taking a little bit more. So look, why do they keep on making the Splatfest so cool when it's about to end? There must be some way to continue the Splat Splatfests past this. Like, here's my thing, right? They have, at max, like, five more Splatfests. Because updates start in, uh, stop in December. So I guess maybe, like, a maximum of two or three more? But it's it's just one of those things that I'm like... I, I, I feel like they're building into something. That, like, okay, no more, no more updates. But now the Splatfests, like, repeat or something. Now, now the Splatfests just, just, like, go on, like, a loop or something. Which would be interesting. I don't know. All I'm saying is, is, is I feel like they're building up for something with the Splatfest and them doing this, like, big Halloween event. Well, I mean, honestly, it's extremely cool. I wish they would do it more because I feel like it really... This is What I love so much about Splatoon is it feels like such an alive game. Like, I'm sure veterans of this game can really sort of relate to me when I say this, but this game really does sort of breathe, you know? Like, like, the characters are fun. They always keep unveiling not only new characters, but just new music, new bands. New bands that have, like, like you know, different genres, different artwork, new DLC. Like, whenever, like, I feel like Splatoon has sincerely had some of the best DLC I, I could ever imagine. Like, I can't even fathom a game with better DLC than, well, at least that I've played. Um... Than what, than what, um, Splatoon does. Then you'll just download Shapes and Beats, you won't regret it. Good music. Uh, I've already beat Shapes and Beats. I was, I, I like, Shapes and Beats was one of my favorite games for a long time. Before it even came out, it was one of my favorite games. I just haven't played it on the channel because, like, it's heavily copyrighted. To be fair, I guess I played Osu. So there's less of an, less of an excuse for me to just play it. But, uh, this is one of those things. I, I beat it in my own time. And then I was like, well... I don't have too much of a reason to play this beyond just trying to beat more of the levels. Now, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll check it out on the channel one day. But uh, until that time, it, I don't know. This is not for me at the moment. Um, I'm playing on my Switch as a watch. Perfect, man. Do I, live streams. Perfect time to do other things. Yo, thank you for the, thank you for the two heroes, Sass. Uh, better DLC than Splatoon 2. Uh, Hollow Knight? See, okay. I haven't gone to Hollow Knight's DLC yet. I haven't gotten to Holland's DLC yet. Because it, it, it's like an oh, extremely good core game. And because it's an extremely good core game, I'm still on the core game. <laughs> like, I, I, I recently beat it. Now, I, I don't want to talk about Hollow Knight spoilers. It's such a good game. I don't, if you guys have not played Hollow Knight, and I know that's a lot of you, I don't want to spoil you on Hollow Knight. Because I, I feel like that's a game that you really do want to experience yourself. Even if you don't know you want to experience it yourself. Treat yourself to a video game today. Enjoy a nice home cooked meal. Lie in bed. And uh, treat yourself to a tough but fun platformer. Either Celeste or Hollow Knight. Because, oh goodness, both of those games are uh, really just underappreciated legends, in my opinion. I know that there's a lot of people who do appreciate them. But I feel comparatively, there's just not enough. There's just not enough. 
those games really make me feel some stuff, and my god, like, it takes a lot for me to feel some stuff on a live stream. Like, Celeste, I played on a live stream. Hold on, I did not play on a live stream. Celeste, I played on a live stream. That game got me feeling real emotions and talking real thoughts on a live stream where I don't usually do that. <laughs> like, it pulled me out of my little YouTuber persona. I guess it's not really a persona, but you know what I mean. And pulled me back into, into a mood uh, that is akin to, like, talking with friends at 2 a.m. After having a long fight. You know what I mean? Like, that game puts you into an amazing mindset. I, I enjoyed it a lot. How many layers of Hollow Knight are you on? Uh, not as much as I would like to be, I'll tell you that much. The game is extremely fun. I, I've gotten to, like, 30 hours, I think? I think I'm at the 30-hour mark. So, uh, so yeah. Also, by the way, I'm hoping to get, uh, get, um, hoping to get 100 eggs today in a single run of this game. Because I've gotten... 96 as my highest before and I want at some point in, in, in today's salmon run stream to hopefully have that click and get that get that beautiful hundred that three digit boys also yeah I want to talk about something real fast here that I sort of glazed over we are about like 20,000 to 10,000 views from uh, 40 million views on the channel which is really kind of wild to me because that went fast. Not sure if you guys know, but it was only about like a month or two ago. I think, must have been a month or two ago, that I got 30,000. <laughs> like, or, or 30 million. I'm not, I'm not even used to, to that word. Like, that kind of moves fast. I think it was, I think it was like, like two, two, three months ago. Because I remember I hit um, three, 30 million just about the time I hit 300,000. And so you can sort of work backwards from there. I'm at, I'm at 315,000. Which has also moved a lot, like very fast. Like I swear, man, this, 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 whole, this whole channel is definitely moving faster than I could ever, ever have expected it to. Which is why I want to treat it nice and give it a nice, cane, you know, nice coat of paint with a nice, uh, some nice new banner artwork and stuff because the banner artwork that I had was sort of still in like the how to put it like, 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 like the TNT era if that makes sense like I haven't really I don't know I haven't really redone my channel since uh since I was like super 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 tied with Minecraft and so since I've become like the whole like like if you looked at my banner before the change the games on there were Minecraft and Smash Bros. <laughs> Ironically, one of those is becoming relevant again. But up until recently, neither of those were really that relevant. So, changing things up, man, it, it, it feels nice. It feels very nice. Because, like, oh, oh, you're right. Thank you, Pluto. I will update the title. My apologies. I was a little bit slow on the gun there. For people who are watching this, uh... Who are watching this as a as a live stream later on? Also, um, by the way, I'm gonna get some new people in here. You guys already know. You guys already know the the gist of what's of how to do these sponsor rooms. If you guys play in one room, just don't hop in the next one. That way, we can get as many people on as possible. Uh, all sevens, by the way, for the password. Do some viewer battles. That's what I'm doing right now, Will Lover. Um. Yeah, Minecraft dead rip. Uh, maybe one day. I'll have a little bit of a resurgence on it. Maybe one day I'll have a little bit of a resurgence. Yes, I have. Uh, D Rockets. I've watched uh, Part 5 JoJo, Episode 1. Oh, it's so good. But, um. <laughs> that was it, or Baguette. <laughs> Such a strange comment, but you know what? I'll take that, Alicia. I'll take that. It's really funny. Um. God, what was I saying? Um. This is the issue of, like, doing YouTube sometimes. I just, like. I'm like, mm, let me talk about five things at once. <laughs> Goodbye, first point. I will never see you again. Gone into the depths of my mind. Turned to ash. Emitted to nothing but rubble amongst my cerebral brain. <laughs> Dude. Uh, I mean, while we're on the topic of not having a topic, I got a new phone recently. And oh my god. 
If you guys are still sitting on an iPhone, if you guys are still sitting on your iPhone, I don't know about the X, but like the iPhone 6 or something, kind of, kind of older. I think honestly, in general, just an iPhone. Move your butt over. You deserve the upgrade to a Galaxy S9 or, or, or something of that variety. This is not a sponsored thing, but I'm, oh my god, if I was sponsored by Galaxy, whoo boy, I would, I'd probably have to stop. I could cash in and never have to stream again. But, um, not that I'd want to do that, but you know what I mean. Like, it's a really good phone. Like, it's a really good phone. Like, the amount of things I've just been able to do on this, on, on, uh, on an Android versus an iPhone is just, it's insane. So much more flexibility. The home screen actually feels so much more customizable. I, I never even knew this kind of flexibility existed. Google Home, or, or you know, okay, Google. Like, I think it actually just turned it on. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to ruin everyone who actually has an Android. Okay, Google, play Kids Bop 15. I really hope you guys have speakers on. Actually, I think it activated my own phone. Hold on. Is it starting? It's starting. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Wait a minute. No, it's okay. I don't want to get accidentally copyrighted. Hold on. Let me, let me. Please, round end. No, thank you. That's all right. I, I love Kids Bob as my. Hold on. Stop. 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 Hold on. All right. Good. Bye, 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 bye. Na 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 na. Don't copyright me. All right. There we go. I'm not sure if you guys were actually able to hear that. It might have been like super quiet because it's kind of away from the microphone. But like, real talk though. Oh my god, it's just so much fun. Just being able to be like. Boop, 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 boop. I'm just gonna say that instead of the actual words. And then just saying anything. So, I'm a big SoundCloud browser. And I've been using these like Bose headphones that are like really good, but they have like an, a kind of auto. Pretty much these Bose headphones that I have are really nice, really nice. Especially for when I wanna pay for them. But like, they, they have Google Home built in, but it's not like a good Google Home. It's like a halfly functioning Google Home. That's really annoying to like work with and stuff. And. It like doesn't support SoundCloud. This just, just supports SoundCloud. I can literally just be like, boop, 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 boop. Uh, play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 OST Counter Attack on SoundCloud. And it does it. And just like, oh my, it, it's so amazing. Like my workflow has just been improved and optimized intensely. And yes, the Bose headphones are godlike. Oh, you guys dropped five eggs now, huh? Cool. But yeah, no, like, it just it greatly improved my workflow. And I got it, like, yesterday. I haven't even had time to really play around with it. And there's so many fun games on it. And, like, oh, my, there's just so many things I want to do with it. it, it it's just an exciting, it's an exciting time. It's like I got my hands on some new technology that could potentially just overhaul my entire workflow. And so eager to, like, really just sort of bite into it and, and see what it's got what's got in store I'm looking for that caramel filling right now I've just gone into the milk chocolate exterior but I know I'm missing out on so much more just how we're missing out on so many more eggs it's just one of those things it's like I take a bite and I'm like oh you can taste it you can taste the sweet like gooey caramel bursting out from within the milk chocolate and you're like oh my god the synergy this beautiful synergy of flavors coming together in, in an exquisite way and then you taste a little bit more and you can see and you can you can taste like a, like, like, like a marshmallow interior and you're like oh my god the, it has more layers than I previously could have ever have, ever have thought of Cursed. Cursed lobby. And yes, I have been watching Food Wars. You're not wrong. <laughs> Alright, please say don't starve. Uh, if you like it, so he has a second game to play. Please, please feel able to play Don't Starve. Maybe? I'm not really feeling Don't Starve today, I'll be dead honest. Like, today is like, oh, it's so hard to compare, man. Today just has, has so many games I could play. Under Hero. I really want to play some Under Hero today, maybe. Um, would love to do some... 
uh, Hat in Time would love to do some, like, potentially Mario Party, but, like, maybe online? So here's the thing, guys. Let me be real with you guys. If you had the option of seeing me do a Mario Party stream today, do you guys want me to play it online? Like the same mini games over and over and over and over and over again? In a way that I can't even really hear you guys? Or do you guys want me to play something with the computers? Because I feel there could be some funny stuff we could do with just having the computers run at it, you know, do all do all the actual playing, and we're we're just sort of along for the ride. Maybe we're taking we're taking guesses on on you know on uh what team we want to be a part of. What 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 player you think will will clutch it out in the very end? I'd personally have a great deal of fun with that. Whoa, that's called that's called salmon boosting, by the way. It gets me from a deadly situation to a slightly deadlier situation. I don't recommend it for anyone. Literally anyone. Could you do all computer? I wish. If I could do all computer, that would make sense. But no. But no, that is not the case. With computers. Uh. I was trying to play the game, so I was not able to read a lot of the messages. But it looks like a lot of people were just saying with computers. Which I agree, man. If only I could play it online board style with all you guys. I would do it, like, immediately. That would be so much fun. Too bad Nintendo likes only one kind of fun. I love Nintendo. I love them dearly. They're responsible for, like, everything for me. But, man, you gotta admit, they have some weird practices now and again. Um, create a Mario Party character like you do with Splatoon 2 gun. <laughs> Mario Party making Mario Party boards in Photoshop. Or maybe making Mario Party minigames or something. Dude, designing Mario Party minigames actually sounds hilarious. I have no prep work on that. No preconceived ideas. It would be completely improv. But that sounds so much fun. You guys want to do that? Creating Mario Party minigames in a photoshopped style? That seems so stupid. I am totally in. I am totally in. I love these stupid photoshop streams, man. Goo 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 is like the, the, the poster child of my photoshop streams. And I love him. <laughs> Failboat. See, Mario Party's cool, but there's one problem with it. It's not DDD's face. <laughs> God, man. I'm totally down with that. When you could play Mario Party minigames uh, in MS Paint instead. Exactly! Dude, it was so good. It was so good. Actually, seeing all tribe in chat makes me makes me um what's happening? My phone was just like screaming. Seeing all all tribe in chat makes me uh makes me remember. So you know who I've been watching recently? And someone called me out on it in uh in uh in comments because they saw it in my background. I've been I've been watching some uh Call Me Carson recently, and I hate how perfect of a dynamic the people on the call always have like I'm not sure if it's due to the editing timing or just the creative prowess of the people on it but it's become like my new favorite like okay I don't have anything to watch I have some food let me load up some call me Carson it's so stupid I love it if I can give a shout out to any content creator on this <laughs> good job crafty if I give a shout out to any content creator on today's live stream it, it would be them Cause my goodness, they do some cool work. And Ultrive, man, like, Ultrive is the boy, uh, who's another TNT original. If you guys ever, if you guys still watch TNT or, or used to watch TNT, and you guys remember Pink Guy, 
the or, or, or two two man or originally just straight up called all tribe we both come from the same from that little same background there it's cool man uh, I challenge you to use, use uh, not use Photoshop but instead use paint.net paint.net is like I see what you're getting at but I'm gonna kindly reject it solely because I feel I can be whoo I can feel I can be way more creative with Photoshop this is really not good this is really not good the difference between yours is everyone I make Carson like no man dude you are you are incredibly funny you could dominate YouTube Oh my speaking of, of domination <laughs> strange segue anyway uh speaking of, speaking of that can we potentially get a couple of these stupid little stingray guys out here please I, I i i'm okay with one or two but three to four gets a little bit unnecessary stop halt please speaking of domin oh that mario party stream changed me hollow knight maybe dude man Hollow Knight is it's good but it's something I do in, in my own time I might do it on um on twitch soon just a little bit more Hollow Knight but yeah man you seen the guy that would tap shot the Grizzco blaster you got me super confused isn't a blaster sort of based around tap shotting I mean you're meant to sort of like take a second and aim but like you can't really charge it <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, let's do another with friends thing there. I love these broken weapons, man. It makes me feel so good about my actual play, even though I know I don't deserve it. Even though I'm also, like, not really winning any more than I usually do or losing any more than I usually do. So maybe it just balances out, but I don't know, man. Which is better, DDC's face or SMG4 Waluigi? I have no idea what SMG4 Waluigi is like, so I'm going to go with DDD's face. I'm aware of SMG4. But, uh... But not with um, but not with the their specific characters. Hey, lifeboat in here. Let's go, man. I wish I could donate a sponsor, but I have no money. I, I have no worries though. Um, don't, sponsoring is like always appreciated, never expected. Uh, is there anything else I can do to help? Please, I really want to. Please answer just by watching my streams. <laughs> just watch my streams, man. Like, if you want to go out of your way to like do something. First of all, completely unnecessary. Just having you guys come by in the streams is amazing. But this goes out to not just me, but any content creator. If you if you really enjoy someone's work on YouTube, uh, or, or Twitch, or, you know, or artist, if you're really like an artist or whatever, game designer, game designers especially, man. Like, if you really like anyone's work on something, reach out to them. Just be like, hey. Like, like you don't have to start up a full conversation if you don't want to. You can just be like, hey, I really like your work. Or just like, 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 you know, hey, uh, you know, you can make like, like, like a paragraph long, like, email or letter to them, and just be, or like, tweet at them or something, and be like, hey, you know, you, you, you your, your work helped me through a tough spot of my life, if that's what the, if that's what it did, or, uh, or, you know, whatever, whatever works. Hey, I really enjoy playing as, as a, a small little void nugget, in, 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 in slaughtering various. Uh, abominations of the dark. <laughs> Talking about Hollow Knight right there. I love the term Void Nugget. Some artists referenced them as uh, referenced the knight as, as a Void Nugget. And I can't not reference them only as a Void Nugget from here on out. He's adorable, man. Somebody who isn't an adorable little Void Nugget. This is not good. This is not good. I know what's coming. I know what will be here in like three seconds. Bait them over this way. Beautiful. Ah! I forgot about those little things. I swear, man. Remember when those things were, like, memed to always kill you? I, I like, never get killed by them. Like, like I, I never, even while they were memed, got killed by them. Like, like twice at max. It happens, of course, because, you know, they deal damage, and occasionally I just have low on health when they deal the damage. But they're never as threatening as they were memed out to be, at least in my eyes. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. Chicken McVoid Nuggets. Good job, Gears, for breakfast. Yeah, man. Just send... Literally the... Okay. If you guys like a hat in time, just send them a D... Just send them like a tweet or something. Like the hat in time people. Like, like their Twitter account. 
the official Hat in Time Twitter account. They they follow all the devs, or all the devs that have Twitter accounts, and they have in their description if they are a dev. Like I follow like the programmer and stuff, and they're all cool, like cool people. They all live their own lives outside of the game. It's super cool uh, just hearing what the, what they are, what they what they think about the world, and just saying like, hey man, I, I really love what you what you did with uh with the seals and having them make an O O voice. It really created so many memes on my channel. We actually have an entire emote because of the, because of those seals and how adorable they are. I should actually let them know that, man. It's super cool. Thank you, Marcy. By the way, shouts to Marcy for the uh, seal lolly emote. If anything ever, f if anything funny ever happens on these streams, for some reason, then uh, then the sponsors can spam some uh, some seal lol. It's an adorable emote. I love it, man. I love the idea of a lolly emote. I just wish YouTube had one because, like, I, I like I I love I always browse Twitch. I'm a big Twitch boy, um, and so I love all of Twitch's emotes. And lol, pog champ, all those things. Like, I need YouTube to just keep stealing from Twitch. <laughs> I love Twitch. I love Twitch, and I wish YouTube would create their own content that's better than Twitch. But they just like stealing from Twitch, so I wish they would at least do it more. Because <laughs> Twitch has so many nice features. But YouTube has a better way for me to reach my platform on. Uh, so YouTube, if you're watching this, I don't think you are. You don't watch a lot of things, um, including apparently your customer support. <coughs> um, but uh, if you are watching this, please get better live stream features. The live stream features are already amazing, but Twitch is blowing you away with so many things. To compete, you gotta have to work with what they have or create some stuff for your own. And right now your, your your worlds don't mix. And actually, you know what's really cool? YouTube is actually um, working on merging YouTube gaming and normal YouTube. Which, I'm not gonna lie, makes me worry. Because there are things you can only do on YouTube gaming that you can't do on YouTube, which I know you might be thinking, well, Daniel, they just bring that over when they port YouTube gaming to normal YouTube, right? You think that. But you think a lot of things about YouTube. <laughs> and I'm like, what if they just forget to bring over super chatting? And I still can't see my sponsor button on anything but YouTube gaming. So like, I don't know, man. I feel like they don't even have a checklist sometimes. It's just some intern moving over the features that are key and essential to people's livelihoods. They're just like, whoops, I forgot that. I guess I'll just keep forgetting it. Like, okay, look, I like, I like YouTube and the opportunities it provides. This is what I say every time I talk about YouTube. I like YouTube and the opportunities it provides. But I don't like a lot of their decisions regardless. It's like, it's like, okay, if you're in a life or death situation and you, and you have a literally a double-edged sword, it's, 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 there's no handle. It's just a, two knives stuck together. And you're like, okay, this is what you have to use to survive with. You're going to be like, yeah, I'd prefer this. This double-sided knife definitely lets me, you know, stab the bad guys if I have to. But, you know, I'd really prefer something with a handle. <laughs> it's like, the, I, I, it's good. And that part I'm not going to complain about. I'm not going to complain about having the knife. But there are just some parts about it that I feel that I feel could be improved, personally. Um, I know that they, 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 and they say they care. Which is also why I'm talking about it. Because they're like, we say we care, you know. This is the stuff that we want to do. And, you know, they are making improvements. I do want to say, like, <laughs> double-ended double knife does have a good grip, though. <laughs> like... YouTube is making improvements as much as people trash them and sometimes deserve to be trashed. They do make improvements. Every now and again, they come out with features and renovations to their to their stuff that are like good, <laughs> like really good. Like there's a feature called auto mod, which definitely helps out not only me, but my mods. It like makes it so even if people curse, it's a um, removed frame one for my videos. It's so useful. 
And speaking of it, the, the, the super chatting system. Very simple, very useful, very nice. And thank you very much for the sass. Um, just use that as a throwing knife. Use loyalty three. What use loyalty three is, but okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Philbot, where's Philbot Twitch? Oh, Philbot Twitch exists. I, I go on it now and again. I, I stream on Twitch now and again. It's Philbo, uh, Philbo Stream. Philbo Streams. But, uh, but yeah. Now, like, 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 YouTube does good things. But I, I, uh, then they also have, like, a poor control over their bots. I think, like, okay, if YouTube ever could, like, tame the, tame the mad dog at the gates that is their bot system, I feel like... YouTube would immediately improve by so much. Think about that. So many people's complaints about YouTube are of unjustified removal of their content, are at uh, unjustified copyright strikes, uh, just a lot of unjustified stuff that a bot picks up on, that a human reviews, that is then never dealt with again because it, it, it's been it's been confirmed that it's not an issue. And they're probably working on it. I mean, I can't imagine they're not working on it. YouTube apparently is a loss for Google. But I imagine it must pull in some money with how many people use it every single day. I'm not one of those people that knows every little detail about every little company. I'm just not that kind of a person. But you'd think with the way that YouTube works, they must do something for their wallets. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just one of those things. I didn't mean to turn into a, a ranty, complainy failboat. But look, I, at the end of the day, I mean, I kind of like the Dude, Salmon Run Split. This is why I love streaming Splatoon. Streaming Splatoon is such a fun little, like... Alright, welcome back to... Uh, hey, everybody! Welcome back to episode 400 of, of Splatoon. Uh, hey, I got that reference. But, um... It's just a time where I can just, like... Talk about whatever, say whatever, you know, within, within my normal boundaries, and uh, just constantly attempt to entertain you guys because you you guys just like Splatoon. But um, yeah, it's good. I hope I can ever do I can do this about Smash Brothers. Oh my God, if I get to this level with Smash, oh, that's gonna be so much fun. Smash is gonna be so. I oh, no, I'm not gonna talk about Smash. I talk about Smash too much. You guys always hear me talking about Smash Bros. It's an extremely fun. There we go. It's an extremely fun uh, video game that I, I, I specialize in personally. What's filled with friend code? So I'm about to try it, hero. Right now, I'm only accepting uh, friendships, like switch friendships from uh, from YouTube sponsors slash lifeboats. From from friends who pay me. God, that's the other thing. I, I, hate, I hate using that term. I wish I wish they were something called something other than friends because it feels so awkward to be like, well, if you want to be my friend, first you gotta pay me. Sorry about that, guys. I wish I could just use like a different term. <laughs> God. Uh, Smash Ultimate looks sweet. Yeah, man. I was looking at some more gameplay for it today. Oh my God, I can't wait to play Inkling. I can't. I know I'm playing Inkling right now. Hard, hard. I can't wait to play Inkling and Smash. They've been like my number one pick for my number one like request for so long. Well, I should think it was my number two request for a long time, but we don't have Bandana get the confirmation just yet. I still think we're only going to get like two or three more characters, and then that's just going to be it. We only have like two or three months left in the game, and Sagra did say they were going to be slowing down the character releases, so I don't know, man. Two or three more characters, maybe two or three more Echo Fighters, maybe. Might just be two or three more characters in total, and that's it. It seems likely, man. It seems very likely, but uh, speaking of things that seem likely, on the other side, I'm also worried about Bandanity and, 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 and Rex and Pyra and all those guys. Ugh. Add Wario? I think Wario would have a fun time in Smash Brothers, personally. I know the next character is going to be in the 69th. Yep. Really, and Isabella are my mains, along with good old Kirby. Oh, I just can't wait for Jigs. Oh, I want to play Jigs. I want Jiggly Pop to be good, please. Please. I don't ask for much. I do not ask for much. 
Jigglypuff mid tier. Low mid. Mid low. Hey yo. <laughs> Give me some viable options with her. I am in. I will main her. I mean, at the end of the day, see, here's the thing. Here's what I don't like about ultimate. You know why, why I don't like about ultimate? Well, first of all, the end lag after air dodges. But uh, what I also don't like about ultimate is they give me too many characters to pick from. It's like when you're at an interview, it's like, eh, tell me about your weaknesses. Well, I have too many characters for people to pick from that it makes them indecisive on what they should play. Did I not res them? I'm a little bit mad that that did not res them. Res my team, res my team, res my team. But, um... I don't know, man. It's just like one of those situations. I don't know who to play. There's too many characters. There's too many interesting possible characters for me to play. Like, I love Inkling. I love Pokemon Trainer. I love Kirby. I love Jigglypuff. Anyone from the Kirby series. I'm down with DDD if he's good. Meta Knight if he's good. Like, I will rep those, 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 those the characters from the brands that I care about. And you better believe I care about like, most cutesy Nintendo brands. I like Mario. I'm a, I'm a Mario secondary in Smash 4. Mewtwo I've gotten incredibly good at. In, or kind of incredibly good at in, in Smash 4. I, I just feel like there's just there's just so many. I, I mean, personally, Inkling. Inkling, Jigglypuff are my two, like, they are currently my, my favorites. And so I'm like, okay. Midnight and Jigglypuff. Currently my favorites. Like, 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 on a personal standpoint. And Kirby, excuse me. Like, if any of those three are really good, I'm in. Perfect. Done. Mains. Like, I go by preference first, and I sort of work down the line. Like, the reason I play Mewtwo in Smash 4 is because I'm like, I love Mewtwo. I love Pokemon. And Mewtwo sort of has, like, the characteristics of, a, of like, a floaty character, and he can also hit people hard and all that good stuff. Hey, thank you, Valentine or uh, Valentinon. Sorry, your your words are very small on my screen, to to fit in as many people as possible. Mm. Normally, I would. I kind of want to rock some ink resistance. I already have some good ink recovery stuff. Um, let's do some like normal games. Let's like hop in league or something. If you guys have already joined in the games, you don't join again. Blah blah blah. You guys got it. This is Mario Party thing was my is my idea. Can you collab with me? All caps. What? I don't think Mario Party. Is, are you Sakurai? Or are, are you Miyamoto? Miyamoto? Mario Party is just a a fun video game. <laughs> I'm sorry, my guy. It's one of those unfortunate things. It's like I'm totally down to like promote smaller content creators who I feel like really deserve it. Like, I, I'll, I'll, like, look at smaller content creators' channels. I'll be like, okay, let me, let me see what you got. And in, in if you're making that kind of content, like, okay. Can I give you an example of two people who I found that were smaller content creators that I was like, okay, I am going out of my way to make sure these guys get some love. Like, good old uh, Relax Alax and Skip the Tutorial. Like, both those guys, I'm like, oh my god, how do you guys not have more of an audience? Fail. I'm letting you guys know, right now, fail. Focus on failing. <laughs> if you guys are, 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 are playing, uh, or if you guys are playing yourself down, like, oh, I'm not a good content creator. Oh, I'm, I, I, I don't know how to do YouTube. Look at my first video. All right, I want you guys to stop right now. If you guys are doubting yourself in your YouTube abilities, go back to my first video. Failboat Snow Golem Machine. It is like, as Christopher Williams just put it, plain and simply in chat, bad. <laughs> it's so bad. I've been doing I've been doing videos for seven years now. And, yeah, I'm not sure what the error was. Feel free to join if you're in that lobby, by the way. Like, it, it, for me, has a lot of sentimental value. But, like, it ran it, like, two frames a second. Literally. Potentially, literally. Like, it was, 
no script. It was, it was, you know, uncomposed. And I just did it. I uploaded. I, I literally just daily uploaded back then. Every day back then, I was consistent on like, I'm going to upload again. I'm going to upload again. I'm going to upload again. You literally, in order to improve, you have to fail over and over again. People call me fail and I love it. Because that's what you need to do in life to grow. Bam. <laughs> End stream. Thank you all for watching. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Uh, anyway. <laughs> we'll back to the finance with uh, the next game. Oh, I actually didn't vote on the next game. Um, Have you seen the new Minecraft update? Yeah, a little bit. Philosophical. I agree, Taylor. But yeah, man. Just like, like, take Taylor's content. Taylor's content is garbage. No, I'm just <laughs> Taylor's actually, Taylor's doing some really good stuff right now. Taylor and Aizen alike, but my, my two moderator content creators. Like, they're doing some really good stuff right now. It, it's so cool to see them do, like, to, 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 like, be really making some good stuff now. I'm eager to see how, how they end up growing. Oh, hello there, brush. But, um... But yeah, no. Fo focus on failure, because it, it, it gives you a, uh, it gives you growth for the future. Also, I don't like what that what that Grisco round did to my like mentality of using the sloshing machine, because now I'm using the sloshing machine. Why am I not getting instant one hit kills? I say while getting potentially a, a double kill. Aizen, when we collabing? Why haven't you collabed, Aizen and Taylor? Makes me a little bit upset, honestly. It's a, it's a perfect opportunity. But yeah, man. Right now, in, in today's day and age on YouTube, it's a very, very competitive market. But it's not impossible. Don't you think for a second that YouTube is impossible. Because it's a competitive market. And because things people are doing things better. You think I'm the only person making funny gaming commentary on YouTube? I think I'm the only one doing a funny stuff happens. I mean, I'm, oh, I'm probably calling it that. But, uh, people are out there making their own funny content all the time. If you guys like my style, that's amazing. That's a, that's a, that's a crazy thought to me. But at the end of the day, I'm also just a guy. I'm just a dude. Up until a year, like, two years ago, I was just, I was in college. I started YouTube in my junior year of high school. Can I say, okay, let, let me, let me also go on one more tangent. I, I know I'm sounding mad. I don't want to start screaming like, like, you know, I'm... Like a man, like an, I'm an angry parent or something. I'm not angry, surprisingly. But like, let me just say something. Y'all are too talented. All right. Like, how? What? What? I think it's the internet. It must be the internet. You guys got too good at too young of an age. Because like, 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 Taylor's like I, I don't want out Taylor's age, but Taylor's like younger than I was. When I started YouTube, right now, and the boy is making astronomically better content than I ever made at that age, uh, that I, I could ever dream of making at that age. Like two years later, and I was still producing content way worse than that. Like I don't understand. You guys are just like so talented at such young ages. It's just it's just wild to me. I, I, I was gonna potentially add a couple more people on it. But I also don't want to start discussing that stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to just start revealing people's ages, who I who, who who potentially don't want their ages to be known. I apologize, Taylor, if you if you were one of those. But um, it's just crazy, man. Like when I started YouTube, I was 16. I was making that kind of content. It took me this long. Like I literally like no one is ever satisfied with their content. By the way. I swear, I swear, man, no one's ever said. Sometimes you'll be satisfied for like like, like like a couple days. But like, you'll be like 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 like, like a month later and you'll be like, man, that's gross. Why would I ever make this? Like, sometimes you'll have like like videos or something. You'll be like, yeah, you know what? This, this stood the test of time for me. But most are just like, ew, moon? <laughs> Was this something I willingly said every second I I, I got a thing? I mean, to be fair, that, that's like a conditioning thing. That's a little bit, a little bit different. But like, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy to me, man. Like, and to be fair, Moon was actually fine. Like, actually, I feel like like 
the 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 funny stuff happens thing. Like like pretty much the start of my funny stuff happens. It was like the 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 most recent like yeah I like everything that I've been doing most more or less. Like everything that's come out since funny stuff happens has been pretty much more or less my like okay I'm I'm still okay with it. Like months later I'm like yeah this is this is pretty funny. I can see why I can see why this did well. I, you know, I can see why I like this content. Why I like making this content. So yeah I don't know. That being said, you're not always gonna find that immediately. Fail is my number one advice. Collab, but collab with people who are also inexperienced. So that way you can both reap the benefits of that together. Oh my god, what is happening to me? I'm philosophical mentally and apparently my, my gameplay is, has sprouted wings because of- I got a direct on that guy! Like I'm not good with this weapon. I, that, that, that's what happens when you're a flex player. Here's the, here's the life of a flex player. Man, I really want to play this very specific weapon today. Yeah, I'm not doing too good with it. Well, let me try the charger. And the, I just get like a, like, a, like a five kill in a row. Don't even know how that's possible, but... It's crazy, man. You should do like a video... I did not use my special, I don't think, like once that entire game. Thank you, Iron Ninja. You are correct. Um, you should do like a video where you look at comments for a video idea. I don't know, man. Now and again. Now and again. I feel a lot of my videos, especially my first one. I look back at it and cringe so hard. Man, oh, I agree. Also, I want to help you guys out with one more thing. Cringe. Nothing is cringe. All right. I know what that, I know what I'm saying. Cringe is nothing and cringe is everything. I know that that's a quite, quite the opening statement. But I mean it. Some, to some people, nothing is cringe. To some people, everything is cringe. Like, people, like, I remember when I would make, like, like an actually funny joke, in my opinion, and people would be, like, like with a good punchline and well-timing and stuff, and, like, you know, it's very cringy because he's playing Mario. Cr don't let people screaming cringe at you, like, inflict and, and harm your mental state of being. That's a pretty cringy statement you're putting out there. <laughs> exactly. It's like, what is cringy? Now, to be fair, I've watched some. There's, there's some moments in like The Office that like, like are. I feel like there is a level of cringe that like pretty much is universally cringe. Like, like truly just awkward scenarios. Um. That like really can never be recovered from or, or, or validated. Like, I feel like, uh, like, once you can't validate a situation anymore, and it's still happening, that's when maybe universal cringe takes over. But, like, I don't know, man. Hey, uh, new member coming through, watching the stream and supporting it, too. Spam some fail- Oh, no, spam some, uh, uh, seal lols in chat because it's our Q and welcome. Hexicus the filthy crew. Thank you very much for your support. But, uh... <laughs> Ooh, it's a Roblox profile picture. How cringy, y'all, man! Like, makes me mad when people when people get on people about like, like small choices like that. Like, okay, so you know what's something that that I had I had uh, realized on to me, not recently, but uh, a while ago. So you know the the when kids dance the Fortnite dance, who cringes when kids dance the Fortnite dance? Now, I'm not sure if, if you're in that generation, but in my generation, we had Caramel Dancing. I know, oh my god. We had Caramel Dancing, which I'll admit was, uh, uh, it was pretty good. We had Numa Numa. But, like, can we talk about the difference in dance moves between Caramel Dancing and, like, Floss or, like, any... I don't know the names of the student Fortnite dances. Like, Caramel Dancing is, like, so not as good <laughs> as anything that you would ever learn in from from Fortnite. Now apparently Fortnite also has some pretty poor practices. Like they'll, they'll they like pretty much steal the dances without any credit to the original or you know, like work. But like that's not what I'm getting at here. What I'm getting at is the the actual doing of the dances when done by kids and stuff. Default dancing. I mean to be fair, dude. Default dancing, y'all. I do that with my friends all the time. I have a meme of that with my friends like actively right now. 
See, you know what I love? You know what I love about having like a small friend group or like like roommates that are our memers? You know how when memes go out of style, if you do one online, you get like shamed? Like if I did a Bowsette thing right now, if I literally re like like reference or talk about Bowsette like two weeks after its conception, people would be like, ew, you're still talking about Bowsette? Like, it just doesn't work. For me and my friend group, like literally my roommates, if I clap right now, like the Fortnite dance happens like seconds later. If I clap, like they just like look at me with like a smirk. Cause they know, they know what I'm doing. Like you can revive memes. I still dab to like one of my friends. I have, well, I have like a close friend of mine who I dab to like all the time. Like, like whenever I see him, I, I, to be fair, I, I, he does not live in the same state as me anymore. But like whenever I see him, we just hit like, like a, like a deep dab. It's amazing. I never want that to die. He will forever be my dad boy. But like, yeah, memes are eternal. And just because they follow one social trend doesn't mean they have to, your social trend has to follow theirs. Uh, please move your Joy-Cons when waiting for players. What, what, what is that statement? Willover, you've been saying that a lot. I don't understand what you mean by that. Move your Joy-Cons when waiting for players. Are you referring to the, I can make like, like, like the, the remixes and stuff happen by, by, uh, by moving my Joy-Con sticks up and down? In which case, yeah, I'm aware. It's really cool. I, you know, understandable, understandable. I will not fault you for that. Now what we need, we need more like, we need iconic Splatoon dances. Y'all talking about like Fortnite dances and stuff, man. When am I gonna get like Splatoon emotes? Because like, look, this is one of my predictions for Smash. One of my predictions for Smash is we're going to get DLC for, oh, I almost got that, for um skins and emotes and taunts. What if each character had like 10 taunts? Something wild like that. Or there was like, there was like, 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 like Overwatch kind of taunts where like there's a bunch of sit emotes, a bunch of like sitting emotes or, or like a dancing emote that everyone has or something. That actually, uh, that actually bayonets that you can cancel out of. I would love that, man. That would be extremely cool. And those could be offered as like DLC of some variety or maybe unlockable. Maybe that's the new thing that you unlock with like customs. They were like, oh, well, well now we want customs to be in the game by default. So what are they going to unlock? Uh, Fortnite dances. Also, yo, six piece of kid, 29 kills. Goodness me. Do you think they'll add octolings? No. We already had a direct on 888. There's no way. Or 8818. There's no way they wouldn't have announced octolings right then. But the ba -ba. Now I have the default dance stuck in my head. God damn. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's do one more lobby. One last lobby. If you guys were in, in any of the previous lobbies, do not join in again. That way we can get in our last group of people. <clears throat> I'm gonna have some water. What should we play for the next game? I don't really want to go out of my way to do a poll tab. I just sort of want to <clears throat> see what people are thinking. Under Hero. We do a hat in time a lot. We've sort of been sitting on Under Hero for like a long time. I wouldn't mind doing another episode of Under Hero. Uh, metopia has been a while. Uh, what are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? Kirby Star Allies has already been 100 percent Cars 3, driven to win. Hollow Knight? Hollow Knight is, is not something I stream on this channel. Sorry about that, guys. Slime Rancher. I'd be down with some Slime Rancher. Metopia. Oh, right, DDD Shopping with Mario Party Maps. Correct. You are indeed correct. I will do that next, and then I will do the voted thing. I forgot we were going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I finished the, the Nuzlocke there, Rockus. Not the Ultra Moon one. Speaking of Nuzlocke, you might like some news about something in a little bit. I won't be saying it today, but yeah. Um... But yeah. Oh, good yawn. One second. 
yeah, next thing I'm gonna be doing is um is DD shopping Mario map edition or Mario Mario minigame edition. And then afterwards I'll be doing uh, a vote on what I should do. People are saying Metopia. It's been a long time since Metopia. I'd be down with that. Might be a little taxing on the on the girl voice box, but uh, we'll see what I can do. I might just take a slightly extended break in between. Dude, Zero? Oh my goodness, is that Zero from Smash? Or is that Zero from the competitive Splatoon team? Very confusing, actually. Um, oh, thank you, Sest, for uh, the, the two euros. Mario Party Online. That does not seem to be the popular vote, but I will take it into consideration should we go further into it. I honestly don't think we're going to do anything other than... In terms of Mario Party, I don't think we're going to do anything Mario Party today other than the building your own minigames. Which, to be fair, I think is going to be really fun. So, uh... I wouldn't, ca I wouldn't count that one out so easily. I feel like not, though. Oh. I think this is where I die. Big Jukes! Oh, no. Small Jukes, followed by Big Death. Is this just gonna be where the game ends? Is a clean sweep? It, it's gonna be where it ends, isn't it? Oh, hey there! I'm in pain. <laughs> I tried. I tried desperately. Oh my god, what is happening? What is this? I don't understand. <laughs> they get it! They get it! They they knew! They knew what they were doing! They knew what they're doing! They we all we all we were all aware of that situation there. <laughs> We, we shared a moment of like, yeah, it's going to happen. We know that our team is going to do nothing. We understand that. Anything for the two Roblox bucks, idol, uh, me making. I refuse to believe that our dollar sign is anything but Roblox bucks. Robux. What is that, idol? Say it in chat. What What is that two dollars? What is that denominator? What is that currency? I know it's not Robux, but I'm going to call it Robux until I, I know. Or probably after I know. I will just repeatedly call it Robux infinitely. Let me just... Rupees? Oh, wait. Actually, rupees are a currency. That actually could be rupees. Uh, Reeves from, from Brazil. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Idol. I got two reads. I'm still gonna call them Robux, but I, I do appreciate the donation. Thank you. I love money. <laughs> that's a that's a poor sentence. I mean, not necessarily wrong, but like, I love learning about different types of money and, and hearing di different people's pronunciations and or different people's currencies and stuff. It's an odd subject that I would never think I would actually have, like, an interest in. That, like, since you guys donate in, like, different denominations, I'm like, huh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I like money. <laughs> that was so good, man. That was, like, the most, like, like, like clip that. That was, like, the most, like, honest statement. <laughs> Telling Mr. Krabs there, that was really funny. Make I like money or super chat sound. Yo, if someone sends me that, I might. That would be really funny. I'll make that for like, like, like the 50, <laughs> like $50 up donations or something stupid like that. <laughs> Just out of nowhere, too. Dot, dot, dot. I like money. <laughs> oh, that's a really, that's a really funny. I, I, that, that feels like I just, I just got, I fell for like an up dog thing. That seriously, it felt like I, 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 I went for an up dog. <laughs> I just got got without. I set myself up for that one. All right. Well, hey, thank you all for watching. Uh, the uh, in the meantime, Splatoon Two segment. We'll be back in 
three to five minutes with some, um, uh, what was it again? Right, the really stupid thing. Making our own custom Mario Party mini games. That might need a, like, a little bit extra setup. It's just because I have to, like, launch Photoshop and... I mean, I'll probably just... You know what? It doesn't need any setup. I'm just going to launch Photoshop and we're just going to roll with it. We're going to do it live, man. We're going to have no prep, no practice, no ideas for this. It's going to be stupid and fun. See you guys in three to five minutes. Hey, who? Do I say it like that?